This is Martel from the old Eminem Railroad. Mm -hmm. And now I um, just want to just briefly run through some stuff. Uh, this is part two of the new and improved Triple M Model Railroad. And um, as we can see, our helix is complete. Okay? I want to show you a couple of things first on. Uh, some of the technique, techniques that we use for the helix. What we use here, these are called sweet sticks. And the sweet sticks, you just put them together. And each one has a radius number on top, which I believe this is a 35 radius. And the sweet thing about these sweet sticks is, I can take a 35 radius to a 38 radius and connect it together. And this way it gives you an easement coming in to the 35. I also can come off that 35 radius into my straights. And this works really well with code 100. Works pretty good with um, code 83 microengineering, but the only thing is you have to do a little modification here. So let me show you an example of a modification that I did for the Code 83. Now as I modified it, because this is microengineering, and microengineering is it's stiff. So this screw, when I screw it down into the road bed, it actually goes through the sweet sticks. For example, what we use is number six, number six screws that you can re you can buy from your local hardware store or Home Depot or Lowe's. Now try to get the flathead because you don't want it hitting the bottom of the truck. Some of the tools that you will need for your helix that I've used is the adjustable parallel track tool. If you're doing two main lines, this simply adjusts and they both come out evenly. When I place it on the track, I get the same adjustment going all the way across. Also what I use, which I call the hands of life. I think this comes in handy for every modeler to reach things that you can't reach. For example, I can reach stuff that was way over there that my human arm would not be able to reach. Not unless I'm Stretch Armstrong. Okay, you would also need some needle nose. As far as my Phillips, I use a short Phillips. So this way, if I want to adjust anything, I can simply just reach inside and adjust and turn. If I had a Phillips that was any longer, it would not, of course, it wouldn't get inside. Also, plants. Clamp, Tidy Bomb. Now I'm not trying to do a commercial for Tidy Bomb. I don't get this for free, so. But this is a very good glue from Home Depot. Okay, what I do is, I take my block, and a lot of this I learned from Jeff Johnson. But um, sometimes I don't use the hot liquid glue on the corners like he does. And I take my Tidy Bomb glue, now spread it here, okay? And instead of using the hot glue on the ends, because that's if you want to speed things up, I would just put my glue there. I would lift up a little bit, place it under there, so take me a clamp, clamp it every nine feet. 
of this flex track, I run my feeders. Don't forget to run your feeders because once everything is locked down, you will not be able to get there to drill that little drill that little pinhole. So it's very important that you count three of these flex, then you take your solder, you drill your hole, and you put your feeders in. Once that's done and your road bed is down, then you just simply pop that in. Give me a little adjustment. And that's it. You take your clamp off. And it's done. And that's it. And you just keep going until it's continued. So in this segment, the helix is finally finished. Got a couple more Code 83 flex tracks to go. And I give or take about an hour with soldering, an hour and a half. And that's it, and we'll be ready for the second tier that's gonna start. But I don't think we're gonna start the second tier yet. So, in conclusion with this video, the reason why it is called Triple M Marble Railroad is because there are three guys with the first letter M. You have Maurice, who is the guy who puts the decoders in, the guy that does the schematics. He's a tech guy, okay? Which is very important that you need a tech guy. Then you also have Mike Thomas. Mike Thomas works on a railroad, but I'm not gonna mention which railroad he works on um, for his job's sake, but he works on a real railroad. So he has very good pointers and very good views about how to build model railroads uh, interlocking the blocks and signal lightings and stuff like that. And he also has his own model railroad, which is catenary, okay? In the near future, Maurice is gonna have a point-to-point -point in his apartment from one end to the other end, or L, which will be a point-to-point. -point. I have freight, so you have Maurice, Mike, and Martel, which is the Triple M Model Railroad. Okay, and you will be able to look on two different sites in the near future where you will see the layout of any choice that you want to see. Maurice point to point in his apartment, Mike Thomas, his catenary layout in his basement, and of course my freight in my basement. And you'll be able to get pointers from each one of us. Or if you want to contact one of us, you'll be able to go to from one site to the next site to do that. So until then, let me bring you my nephew over here. And uh, so he can tell you a little more about his future plans and his um, point to point. Good evening, everybody. Um, my future plans for my point-to-point -point layout is going to be 12 by 2. And it's just going to be a simple switching yard type of setup. Nothing too fancy, nothing too big. And um, basically, it's based on a BSNF railroad. Uh, so if you stay tuned on the site, you will actually see this um, coming to fruition in the next coming months. <laughs> These are beautiful 900s. So just enjoy. Peace. You know, peace out and take care.